I've often been asked, what should you do after a bad call or a bad day? What should you do? So I'm going to give you three things to do after a bad phone call to get yourself in the right mindset to be able to not take that negativity to the other person, to another person on the phone call, or take your bad day and project it onto someone else. When you're talking to somebody over the phone, you've had a very, very bad experience. The person's been extremely rude to you. They've been very combative, or you've just had a very, very bad experience where maybe you've done everything to help somebody and you thought they were going to go ahead and give you their business, and they decided at the end to not do that. And so now you're let down. You feel so upset. A lot of people will tell you, you know what, get up, walk around, go kind of clear your mind. Those things I'm going to tell you do not work. Those are fallacies. You know, those are action things that are not really doing anything for the mind. You have to replace that negativity with something in your mind and walking around is just making you sweaty. Taking time to go ahead and sit down somewhere, unfortunately, all that's doing is it's wasting time from helping somebody else out. You have to really target your mindset. And this is, we're gonna talk about three things to actually target your mindset. So here's the very first thing to do if you've had a bad phone call that did not go your way or you've had a very, very bad day. Number one, remind yourself that if the person knew who you were, they wouldn't have been rude to you. See, that was something that always, always helped me out because I would realize that, you know what, if this person really, really knew deep down inside the individual that they were talking to and how much I cared about them, how much I wanted to have a relationship with them and not just a transaction, they would not be rude to me. See, if I were calling a friend of mine that knew who I was, they wouldn't be rude to me. It's just the individual that I was talking to right now, they didn't know me. Also, sometimes we're so caught up in our own world that we forget about somebody else's world. What about if that person that I talked to that was extremely rude to me, that was so combative, what about if that person about a couple of hours earlier had been told by their spouse of 50 years that they wanted a divorce? Do you think that would impact our conversation? Do you think maybe some of that negativity would be now pushed on to me? The answer is obviously yes. What about if that person stubbed their toe a couple hours ago and they still have that pain in their toe and now that pain and that negativity is now being put on me? See, we're talking in the Medicare space to a lot of seniors, a lot of people in the elderly population. So a lot of these individuals have aches and pains. They have problems. If you were to meet my mom, my mom is an incredibly wonderful, wonderful human being. I love my mom. But my mom also has fibromyalgia. And she always is having pain. She's always in constant pain. She's often told me, hey, Greg, even when I'm laughing, I'm still in extreme pain. So remember that the person that you're talking to might be in extreme pain. Everyone is entitled to a bad day. So if that is being projected onto you, remind yourself, that if the person really knew who you were, they would not have been rude to you. That's one way to change your mindset after you've had a bad phone call or you've had a bad day, is you have to replace that negativity with positivity. And the only way I've found to do that is to really, really understand that, you know what? If that person was my friend, if they knew who I was, they would not have treated me that way. The second thing to do is this, is to remind yourself that rude people or what keep us in sales. It's being able to turn those people around that actually keep you at the top as a sales rock star. If you want to be a sales rock star, you have to remind yourself that the rude people are actually the ones that keep you at the very top. It's being able to turn around that person that's rude or that's being combative with you and turning them into a sale that actually is what keeps you at the top as a sales rock star. Never ever forget that. If we as sales rock stars were not able to turn those rude people around, then what we would do is we'd be just an order taker. We would just be customer service. And our goal as a sales rock star is not to fall into a customer service 
or into an order taking mentality. And guess what? Rude people are there to help us stay at the top of our game. The last thing is this. You have to remind yourself that others around you are watching you. How you present yourself, not just to the person on the phone, but to your peers, says a lot about you. If you want to be a sales rock star, you have to remind yourself that when you start talking negatively about a phone call, what you're doing is you're getting other people around you that are negative. I heard a really, really good quote in Tim Grover's book. He was the trainer to Michael Jordan and to Kobe Bryant. What Tim Grover said was this, win or stay calm in the midst of chaos. Win or stay calm in the midst of chaos. So when you're having a chaotic day, when you are being, somebody's being rude to you, they're being combative, you have to stay calm, not just for yourself, but to everyone else around you. I told this story when I heard winners stay calm in the midst of chaos. In the Bible, there's a story about an event where Jesus was sleeping in the bottom of a boat when there was an absolute crazy storm that was going out on the sea. All of his sales agents were freaking out. They were worried that this storm was going to go ahead and kill them. And they were looking to him going, why are you sleeping? There's a storm that's about to go ahead and wipe us out. So I reminded myself of winter stay calm in the midst of chaos. In that story, he stayed very calm. And not only did he stay calm, he got up and calmed the sea. See, that is how you stay at the top, is you stay calm in the midst of chaos. So when you're having a bad day, or when you've had a bad phone call, the way to go ahead and get past that is by doing these three things. Remind yourself that if the person knew who you were deep down in your core, they would not have been rude to you. That's number one. That changes your mindset and allows you to get to the next person and help them and not take that negativity to a different phone call or to the next day. Secondly, remind yourself that rude people are actually what keep us in sales. That's what keeps us at the top. That's what keeps us sharp and keeps us a sales rock star. They are the people that actually elevate us. Don't push us down. So if you look at the rude people as those that actually elevate you versus actually keeping you down, that will help you get to the next call. It will help you get to the next day. Lastly, remind yourself that others are watching you. They're looking to you. They're looking to see how you react when it comes down to chaos, when it comes down to things that will take someone down, you're not going to fall in that category. So I hope this has really, really helped you when you're thinking about what to do after a bad call or after a bad day. Just always remind yourself of these three things. Remind yourself that if people knew who you were, they wouldn't be rude. Remind yourself that rude people is actually what keeps you at the top of your sales. And lastly, remind yourself that others are watching you. I hope this has helped you. Go ahead and be an absolute sales rock star to someone else because guess what? They're watching your every move and at the end of the day, this is what's going to keep you at the top of the chart and not a one-hit wonder. Good luck, sales rock stars.